When the Cubs each donated some old odds and ends, they didn't expect they'd be meeting new friends. I wonder how the Cubs are doing with their cleaning. It sounds pretty quiet inside. Hmm, I better go check on them. There! Finished! Ta-da! Hey, great looking fish! Do you want to try? There are instructions on how to make a dinosaur. Maybe later. I'm right at the part where Detective Bearlock Holmes is about to solve the mystery. The two of you are supposed to be cleaning your room, remember? <sighs> but I'm busy doing origami. And I'm right in the middle of finding out who stole all the jewels. Can't we clean our room tomorrow? I'm afraid not. It's too messy. <laughs> Messy's not the word. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were raising a family of monkeys in there. Family of monkeys. That would be cool. Uh-huh. Not a big family. Just five or six. We could hang a tire swing from the ceiling. <clears throat> okay. Cleaning. <sighs> Come on, sis. We better get started. places to put stuff. Oh. Or maybe what we really need is less stuff. I don't read these Hardy Bear books anymore. And we never play with those games and puzzles anymore. I don't think we need two checkerboards. You're right. Remember the last time we put this puzzle together? Ah, oh, don't remind me. The summer we went camping and it rained for days. Do you think you'll ever want to put this together again? No, thanks. Too many sky pieces and way too many ocean pieces. You said it. Maybe we should put all the things we don't need in the attic. If we don't need it, why don't we take it to the bears who care bin at the mall? Good idea, sis. We'll give it to the needy. I'll get the wagon. You round up some boxes. I hope there's enough room in the donation bin for all of this. Hello, Cubs. Good afternoon. Hello. Hi. <laughs> That's quite a load you've got there. Phew, I'll say. Hey, sis, what if we donate our things here? The Bears Retirement Home? Sure. We have lots of things here they'd like. Games, puzzles, and books. What do you say? Okay, let's do it. Thanks again for your donation. It was so thoughtful of you two. You're welcome. Are you sure you wouldn't like to stay for a visit? Actually, we have to get home and finish cleaning our room. Right, sis? Sis? Is it a dog? Nope. Oh, it's a pig. Whoa, that was close. Oh, that's a fun game. Come on, sis. It's time to go. It was nice meeting you, Mrs. McElder. It was nice meeting you, too. Thanks for showing me how to play dictionary doodles. You're welcome. Bye. Goodbye. Come back anytime. There, all done. With room to spare. And now that we've finished cleaning up, I can do some more of my origami. And I can find out who has the missing jewels. Hmm, did you put my Bearlock Holmes book somewhere? 
I gave it to you to put away. You did? When? This morning, when we were packing up our extra stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? We must have packed it with the stuff we gave to the bear's retirement home. Oh, no. You were still reading it. What are you going to do? I'll just go back and explain what happened and ask for it back. They'll understand. Hey, I'll come with you. I can show Mrs. McElder how to make more origami. <laughs> Say there, you don't have a moment or two, do you? Sure. I guess so. This jigsaw puzzle has too many sky pieces and too many ocean pieces. Do you suppose you could give me a hand putting the rest of it together? Ta-da! <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. That's much more enjoyable when there's extra hands helping. It sure is. If there's anything I can do for you, just let me know. Well, actually, I'm looking for something that I donated by mistake. Oh? It's a Berlock Holmes book. About this big. It has a green cover. Have you seen it anywhere? You know, I did see that book. It was in the box with this puzzle. Great. Just go and look in the lounge. I'm sure it's still there. Thanks. Come on, sis. It's not in this box. Hmm. I wonder where it disappeared to. <laughs> Gee, where's Bearlock Holmes when you need him? <laughs> Someone must already be reading it. Why don't you ask around? Okay, thanks. Then you fold the wings back over like this. Oh, this is really cool. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, hello there. I was so wrapped up in my work, I didn't hear you come in. Would you mind if I took that book? I left it here by mistake. I suppose not. Thanks. Do you have an old clock to fix, too? Uh, no. I figured you must have if you're interested in that book. The complete book of clock repair? This isn't my book. Sorry. I'm looking for the adventures of Bearlock Holmes. Hmm. Bearlock Holmes, you say? You know, Mrs. Perkins likes a good mystery. Maybe she has it. What room is she in? Room 12. Okay, thanks. Oh, it's a bird. And it's flying. Your turn. Me? Oh, I don't know. I... Sure, you can do it. Here, I'll help you get started. My goodness, they make needles with such small eyes these days. Hello, maybe I can help. There you go. Thank you kindly. I haven't seen you before. Actually, I'm just looking for my Bearlock Holmes book. Bearlock Holmes? Uh, what is right over? Oh dear. I must have left it out on the veranda when I was having my morning tea. Thanks, Mrs. Perkins. Hmm. Hello there. Hi. Nice day, isn't it? Uh-huh. Really nice. Uh, are you looking for something? A book. A Bearlock Holmes mystery. I'm not having very much luck finding it. Bearlock Holmes. Why, that's right here. Gee, thanks. It's a fine book. Had me guessing who the real culprit was right up until the end. You finished reading it already? Oh, no, no, no. I read it years ago, more than once. I wouldn't mind reading it again, but the print's too small for me now. My eyesight isn't what it used to be. Well, I can read it to you if you want. That would be great. Have a seat there. 
Oh, I don't believe I got your name. I'm Brother Bear. Good to meet you, brother. I'm Grizzly Wilson. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Wilson. Oh, call me Grizz. That's what my friends call me. Okay, Grizz. <clears throat> it was a foggy evening as I approached the residence of Bearlock Holmes. I had not yet lifted the door knocker when his voice called from inside. Come in, Dr. Watson. The door's unlocked. Ho, ho, how does old Bearlock do it, eh? Yep, he's a smart one, all right. <clears throat> a bear of uncanny perception, Mr. Holmes likely heard the tap of my umbrella tip on the cobblestones, likely knew what I had eaten for dinner that night, and the sum of the coins in my pocket. And then I showed Mrs. McElder how to make a penguin. We had a lot of fun. I had fun, too, reading my book. Where is your book? I decided to leave it with Grizzly Wilson. I'm going back there tomorrow anyway. You are? Uh-huh. I want to keep reading it to Grizz. I'll come with you. Mrs. McElder said she'd like to try making a giraffe nest. Gee, sis, look at all the good things that can happen when you give someone your extra stuff. And when you give someone your extra time. Right, that's even better. When eating your food, remember to chew. It's not just good manners, it's healthy for you. Mmm, mmm, that breakfast sure smells good. I've been waiting all week for some of Mama's pancakes. And here they are. Oh, uh, thanks, Mama. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Mmm, -hmm, this is going to be good. Hmm, I wonder who's calling this early. <clears throat> Hello? Yes, this is Papa Bear. Oh, <laughs> hello, Squire. It's the Squire. I can't believe it. The Squire. Oh, my. A meeting? Here? With me? Oh, no, no, no. That's not a problem at all. Just pick a time. Right now? Oh, um, sure. Right now suits my schedule just fine. Okay, then. I'll see you soon. <laughs> I can't believe it. The Squire is coming here. What does he want? Well, he didn't say. Maybe he wants to take us for a cruise on his yacht. Or fly us around the world in his jet. <coughs> you really shouldn't eat like that, dear. You'll get indigestion. Remember what you and Mama tell us. When eating your food, remember to chew. It's not just good manners, it's healthy for you. Mm, yes, those are good words to live by. But who has time for health and manners when the squire is on his way here? Do you have the hiccups, Papa? Yes, a bad case of the hiccups. Maybe you should try holding your breath. Well, all right. Just hold it a little bit longer. <sighs> hey, <laughs> it worked. Good. <laughs> Uh-oh, not good. Why don't you try jumping up and down on one foot while holding your nose? That sounds so crazy, it, it just might work. And if it doesn't get rid of the hiccups, at least we created a new dance move. <laughs> Thanks, Cubs. I think it worked. It really worked. And just in time, too. Papa Bear, how do you do? Hello. Oh. I mean, hello, Squire. So good to see you again. Please come in. Thank you. Now, I understand that you're one of the best furniture builders in Bear Country. I'm going to need your skills. You see, I need a gift for my wife's birthday. I'd like you to build her a very special chair. <laughs> I see you do very nice work, very nice indeed. <laughs> I'd like to have something like this for my wife. <laughs> Maybe this will help. Thanks. <clears throat> it will be an honor to build a chair for your wife's birthday. And uh, when is the big day? <laughs> As usual, I've left everything to the last minute. 
Her party is tomorrow evening. <coughs> I hope that won't be a problem. A, a problem? Oh, no, not at all. I can manage that. I'll have that chair ready for you tomorrow evening. Guaranteed. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. And I'd like both you and your wife to come to the party. I'm looking forward to seeing you there, Papa Bear. Uh, goodbye, Squire. Thanks for dropping by. Wow, you're building a chair for the Squire. And we're going to the Squire's party. That's great, Papa. <laughs> it's great, except that I've only one day to build his chair. And building a chair like that usually takes a week. At least your hiccups are gone. Hmm, you're right. <laughs> They say a good scare will get rid of the hiccups, <laughs> and I've had a good scare. Now, it's time to get to work. I've got to drill this, sand that down, hammer this in. The chair is looking good, Papa. Well, there's still a lot to do, but I think I can pull it off. We brought you something to eat. Thanks, Cubs, but there's no time to stop. <laughs> When eating your food, remember to chew. It's not just good manners, it's healthy for you. Good manners aren't going to help me finish this chair any faster. We'll help you, Papa. Thanks for helping out, Cubs. Ah, this chair is really starting to come to together. <laughs> They're back! <laughs> And now I can't hold my carving chisel steady. Um, try holding water in your mouth while putting your fingers in your ears. Do you think that will work? It's worth a try. Where did you hear about that hiccup cure? I made it up, and I think it's going to work. <laughs> no more hiccups! I've discovered a cure! Oh, no. Oops. I guess I didn't discover a cure. I've got to find some way to get rid of them, or I'll get way behind schedule. Don't worry, Papa. We'll think of something else. Right, brother? Brother? Boo! Boo! Not even a headless bear can scare these hiccups away. Huh? I thought that was going to work for sure. Try standing on your head. That might work. Huh. Oh, I'll try anything to get rid of these pesky hiccups. Uh, 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 huh. Don't worry, Papa. We've got you. <clears throat> I can see you're all very hard at work on the chair. We're trying to help Papa get rid of his hiccups. I'm spending more time huh, on hiccup cures than I am on getting that chair done. Huh. Well, the squire just called and said that the party is going to be in the afternoon instead of the evening. What? Oh. Oh. Now I'm behind schedule by half a day. What about the paint? Doesn't the squire know how long it takes paint to dry? Well, at least that news scared the hiccups out of you, Papa. Huh? So it did. <laughs> so why am I standing here talking? I've got a chair to finish. Oh, I did it. I actually did it. Oh, time for bed. Mm, and time for a bedtime snack. <laughs> mm. 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 Oh, no! Oh. oh, what's going on? I don't know what's happening. I just can't get rid of these hiccups. Oh, I think we should visit Dr. Grizzly tomorrow. It can't hurt to see if there's some reason why you're getting the hiccups all the time. That's a good idea, especially since we have to go to the squire's fancy party. Oh, I sure don't want to embarrass myself there with my hiccups. Oh, well... Good night, dear. <laughs> mm. <laughs>
There's a part inside your body that helps you breathe, and it's called the diaphragm. It's here at the bottom of your chest. Now, when the diaphragm becomes irritated, it pushes up in a jerky manner, and that's what makes your breath come out in a funny way. Hiccups! Exactly. Hmm, but what causes my diaphragm to get irritated in the first place? Different things. Something could be bothering your throat or your stomach. Or sometimes you can get hiccups if you're nervous or excited. Eating too quickly will do it also. When eating your food, remember to chew. It's not just good manners, it's healthy for you. Exactly right, sister. It's healthier to eat slowly and chew your food well. Yes, <laughs> I suppose I have been eating a little too fast lately. <laughs> a little too fast? Goodness, you've been eating like a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I do like to clean off my plate. <laughs> oh, look at all the people here, and they're all going to see my work. Relax, Papa. Everyone's going to love your chair. Mmm, mmm. The squire sure knows how to throw a fancy party. <laughs> These appetizers are so good. <laughs> it looks like you're taking Dr. Grizzly's advice about eating your food slower. Oh, yes. I'm making healthier choices now. This is the last place I want to get the hiccups. <gasps> oh, look! It's time for the gift presentation. Oh, I can't look. Happy birthday, dear! Oh, how lovely! Oh, great. What a fantastic chair, Papa Bear. You think you could make me one? Oh, me too. <laughs> as long as you don't need them by tomorrow. <laughs> Congratulations, Papa. Your chair is a big hit. Ah, thank you, dear. <gasps> Oh, no! Not the hiccups again! Just kidding! <laughs>